One of the state's largest child welfare agencies is reporting an outbreak of the coronavirus, but while some children reported feeling symptoms of the virus, the vast majority did not. 7 Action News reporter Ross Jones joins us live tonight with the surprising details here. Ross? Dave, good evening. It was not easy for Wolverine Human Services to get all the COVID-19 tests they needed for their clients, but once they did, the results startled everyone. We've been trying uh, to get tested at our facilities, our residential facilities, uh, since the end of March. Since the pandemic took hold, Paul Whitney and his team have been on the lookout for COVID-19 inside its residential treatment centers. Whitney is a vice president at Wolverine Human Services, one of the state's largest child welfare agencies. Vassar House is a state-of-the-art facility. And at one of their facilities in Vassar, Michigan, just east of Frankenmuth, three girls started showing symptoms. They did have some minor symptoms. One had a sore throat and one said she couldn't taste or smell anything. The three girls tested positive, prompting Wolverine to test the 35 other girls inside the facility. What they found, 22 more were positive, but... All of the rest of the positive cases came back with zero symptoms whatsoever. Nearly 90% of positive girls were asymptomatic, so Wolverine tested the rest of its clients throughout the state too. At its location just outside Saginaw, 19 clients came back positive. Again, zero symptoms to this day, and some of them have been sick for more than 10 days. Such a high level of asymptomatic cases was surprising, but we've seen it in other parts of the country. In a Boston homeless shelter, 146 people tested positive without showing a single symptom. In New York City, a hospital tested pregnant women about to go into labor. Nearly 90% who tested positive were asymptomatic. At Wolverine Human Services, those who tested positive, including four staff members, are now under a 14-day quarantine. Without testing, Paul Whitney says the spread would have been far worse. Had we not done the testing, we wouldn't have known. There would be no way to know that. Now, while 25 of Wolverine's female clients did test positive, all 65 of their male clients who were tested, those came back negative. Wolverine says they have notified all the parents and guardians of those who did test positive, and again, they are in quarantine tonight. We're live in Detroit. I'm Ross Jones. Dave, back to you. Ross, as you say, had a hard time getting these tests, but have they been able to secure enough PPE to keep everyone safe within these facilities? Yeah, that has been a real struggle. They say back in March, when this was really starting to, to bubble up, they ordered 10,000 N95 masks. They didn't arrive until last Friday. They say getting other PPE has been a struggle. They've been able to make it work barely through donations and what they've been able to buy, but they're competing with hospitals still, and PPE is still a struggle. They've had been able to get what they need so far, but it's been tough. Yeah, hopefully they'll uh, have what they need going forward. Ross, thank you.